Yeah, kids are lining up to get their picture taken by that sign. Ah, the old Red Panther he ain't got time for that. Live from Las Vegas. The Hunter S. Thompson School of Journalism. Gonzo, at its best or worst. It is the Red Panther. Serving your needs, your greeds. Your servant. Your amigo. The Red Panthers. Shawnee and 90 Zen Viking Athletic Club. Presents more Vegas Strip, this time from the other direction. Keep your eyes peeled, kids. You might see somebody famous. Sorry about the uh, camera work. I'm going to see if I can switch lanes here. September 2010. Your personal reporter, the Red Panther from Iowa, all the way out here to Nevada. As Joe Krangle used to call it, lost wages. Tough times out here, but uh, some people have money to gamble, I guess. You can see the rich and the poor. I would say in a matter of five minutes, you can go from uh, seeing extremely rich people, North Vegas, downtown, uh, on the way to Nellis Air Force Base, I saw people sleeping on the sidewalk. Five minutes from the Venetian. People with shopping carts. That was sad. But, uh, that's the reality of it. This is my old trusty cannon. I just took a couple of videos with my new Fuji. I got on sale at the PX. Of course, over that way is the Luxor, and uh, up ahead is uh, MGM. That's usually where I have stayed in the past, I, for no particular reason. Came out here once with my wife. She was on a business trip. I was goofing off. Come out here once with Travis Holzett. He won a singing contest. I was his manager at the time. 
and we stayed at the MGM. One time I lived here in the 80s, I think it was 83. I stayed at Dushin's house, Jim Dushin, my old college roommate. I used to drive down here every day and eat a, a buffet for a buck ninety-nine. Uh, nothing like that now. Of course that place is gone. There's the MGM. Uh, as long as I'm here, I might as well just move this over. There's New York, New York. We got a roller coaster. When I was here with Travis, who went to New York, New York, and he sang uh, New York, New York in this little uh, cabaret there. It was karaoke night. Of course, Travis was way far more experienced in, in uh, karaoke at that time, but uh, they had the music, so he sang there. Of course, it's, uh, it's on my channel somewhere. But it was there that Travis met Ralph Consiglio. I think Ralph's probably gone now. He's a very old man. That was like 10 years ago. But Ralph was a Sinatra singer in his day. He was a crooner. He gets from Connecticut. And Ralph really loved Travis. He was so happy to see a young guy singing Sinatra. And we went to another... Uh, Casino the next night, sang some more, met met Ralph. Ralph gave Travis some stuff, some music. Well, I'm heading down towards uh, my turn, the uh, Venetian. Very dangerous to do this, kids, drive and tape at the same time. But I do it for you, all my fans out there, my brothers and sisters. This is the Red Panther out.